Well, I just want to mention to you, um, I, I, I spoke about this yesterday, but we'll, we'll maybe come back to it. Um, that is augmented locations. I think that's the right word for it. I've read about it in a magazine. That apparently green screen is on the way out. The the film produce production people are creating. Uh, invo Do you remember there was a, there was a show at the library? You went over there. No, you stayed here. You stayed in the gallery upstairs here in the Phoenix, and you yeah. wore a helmet. Yeah. And you went into a strange world. Uh, Ogden uh, VR. VR, yeah. that's the thing. Well, apparently, the film sets are on the way out. They're just going to have massive uh, situations where the actors will believe they're in the middle of a, um, a, a temple of doom or a, 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 a battle in Russia or... All the things that the previously they'd been asked to stand in front of a green screen. Okay. The, all these things will be created around them. But also the public will be able to visit them. Will they? These locations will become theme parks. Ah. As well. Okay. So I thought we should start with Exeter. You know, you know that space behind Debenhams where we had a radio chalet? He... Well, an access all aerials. Oh, yes. Well, I thought we could start with that one. Maybe well, that could become a theme park or augmented location. Okay. So... And um, what would they do at this location? Well, we'd go round there... Either we'd go round there... Because um, it would never be raining, Chris. We could go there and do a radio show That's somewhere good. else, outside the studio, as if we were visiting the community, engaging with the public. But we'd actually be in another studio, thanks to technology. But at the same time, people could visit us as a sort of theme park. I'm not exactly sure... This is all talked about great, with great confidence as if the technology will become available in the near future. So I think we should just um, think about it as something we might like. But I thought we could start with that. Because we've got a rough version of it that exists in actuality. Yeah. So we could settle for that on days when it's not raining... Meanwhile, the uh, the techie people could build a version of it in which um, videos could be made or film could be made sometime soon. Um, like the Consumer Electronics Show next January. Yeah. We'll have that as a target. Is um, it am I still making sense? Um, a bit. Chris, by the way, th you know that um, conversation we had just outside a certain well-known cafe on Gandhi Street? Yeah. Do you have it on your phone? I, I do. So we should be able to play it later on. Yeah, well... I I've sent it to Craig last week, so yeah. Well, we can't get it on the. We could get it on um a USB stick, and we could stick it in the side of this screen, but we haven't got a cable from the computer to the desk at the moment. Next week there will be. Okay. But it's all very well fantasizing about all these technical possibilities in the future. We've got to deal with what we've got now. I'd like to say hello to a listener, Will. A, a particular listener? Yeah, we've got a, a listener of Jim. So, Jim, thank you for enjoying the show. 
And we could play meatloaf bass out of hell for Jim. Well, how are we going to do that, Chris? We're going to get the Bluetooth working. Okay. So, Jim, your, your meatloaf will appear in about ten minutes. But meanwhile, thanks to the miracle of CD players, I'm limited to the CDs that I've got. 